Hey, today's Novel Crafter video will focus on copying system prompts and making our own new prompts. So why would we want to do this? Why would we want to edit the prompts that are baked into the system? So it could be something as simple as you want to delete some of the models that are there as standard. Perhaps there are two models that you use all the time and you don't want to have to like keep scrolling through the various offerings, especially if they're towards the bottom. So if you clone the prompt, you can delete everything you don't use. Or on the other side, if you want to try out a new model, if you're running, say, a local model on your own computer, or you want to try out a new offering from Open Router, or you want to experiment with model parameters, all of these you'll need to clone the system prompt and make your own um, in order to, to add these in. As standard, the system prompts can't be changed so that there is always a functioning prompt within a Novel Crafter. The third reason is that you may want to change a small part of the system prompt. For example, if, say, you wanted to have um, larger output or you wanted to change the, the genre or that kind of thing, you may want to clone the prompt so that you can make minor tweaks. But what is a prompt? Within Novel Crafter, a prompt always combines two things, a list of models and their settings, and then the actual instructions we provide to that model. So when we're talking about what prompt you're using, we refer to both the model that is using the prompt and the prompt itself. Since um, different models can interpret your instructions in wildly different ways, it's important to clarify which models that you're using so that um, we can all better help each other out and that kind of stuff. You can leave the default model list alone and only change parts of the instructions, or you can heavily edit both. The, the choice is yours. Um, but within a prompt, you can see here, you have your models and you have your instructions. They're kind of nice, kept separate. You can easily see what is going on. But how do we clone a system prompt to begin making these changes ourselves? So we want to go to prompts. This can be found um, when you first join the interface in the top menu, or, or if you're within a book, you can find it within the bottom left-hand corner. Then what you want to do is click on one of the system prompts. This works exactly the same, no matter whether you're doing a scene beat completion, text replacement, workshop, chat, the lot. So click on your prompt. In the blue message box at the top, you want to go to the right hand side, click clone prompt. And here we can see we have our clone prompt. Now, if you don't make any changes at this point and simply click off the prompt, prompt deletes itself so that you don't have lots of the same version. So make sure you do your changes first before, you know, getting into it. So let's clone that again. Okay, so we'll give it a quick name just to let us know what it's for. Um, and now you can see that whereas in, whereas previously you couldn't change any of the text within the boxes or the prompts or change anything here, now, in our general purpose test, we can add in text and we can delete and clone any settings or models that we have and, yeah, and kind of like begin to make things our own. But what about if we want to start from scratch? That is even easier. You literally go to the new button of that and select the prompt that you want. And voila, you have a completely blank interface in which you can make your prompt. Etc, etc, etc. Now, we have the prompts. What about if we've like got a prompt and we realize that it's a little bit pants and we want to get rid of it? Really simple. You want to go to the actions menu and here you can see that you can clone the prompt if you wanted to, to make tweaks to it and keep all your original iterations, you can archive the prompt if it's one that you think you'll come back to at some point, but you don't want clogging up your interface. Um, this is especially useful if like, you have uh, lots of different genres and you're working on a new genre of story, so you might archive anything from a cosy mystery if you're wanting to write like a gritty horror. Um, and then, of course, you can delete your prompt. It gives you a little prompt here to make sure that you actually want to delete it. And, and there you go, how to clone your prompts 
In the next lesson in this mini series, we'll look at some common changes that users make and how to add in new models to these cloned prompts.